Hi, by the end of this video, you're going to be a shin splint expert. Let's get started. It won't take long because this condition is easy to fix. Shin splints result when muscles, tendons, and bone tissue become overworked or overused, similar to tendonitis. Shin splints often occur in athletes who recently intensified their workouts and also sedentary people or someone just trying on a new pair of shoes and maybe walking more than usual. The main symptom is pain in the shin area. If you see bruising and had trauma to your legs, then an x-ray should be taken to rule out a fracture or broken bone. The weak muscle causing shin splints is the tibialis anterior. Located along the upper two-thirds of the outside or lateral aspect of the shin and inserts into the medial cuneiform and the first metatarsal or big toe on the inside of the foot. It dorsiflexes and inverts the foot and ankle. Oftentimes the pain is bearable enough to walk short distances without too much pain. Running is usually too painful and is not recommended for a few weeks up to a month, depending on the treatments that are being done. Now, what causes a shin splint is fairly simple. It's just a weakness in that tibialis anterior muscle, which can be for a few different reasons. The tibialis anterior muscle gets its nerve supply or innervation from the deep peroneal nerve, which emanates from the L5 nerve in the lowest part of your lower back. Now, regardless of the reason, I'm going to show you how to fix shin splints for good. We have some great shin splint exercises for you coming up at the end of this video, so hang tight. Now, if you have nerve damage at L5, you'll need to see a chiropractor and add on some chiropractic care along with these exercises and treatments I'm about to mention. Now, shin splints can take three to six months to heal. Treatment typically includes rest, ice, and pain relievers or anti-inflammatories if needed. Orthotics or insoles, compression socks, and massage are also very helpful. If you have the budget for all of those treatments, great. But if you don't have the time or the budget, then you'll wanna watch this video until the end. Because the treatment options we offer at Synergy Wellness will speed your recovery so much so that you can get back out there much faster. Now don't get me wrong, we do the treatments previously mentioned, but if you wanna save money, speed up the healing process with one to three weeks of recovery time instead of months, we offer cold laser therapy, custom orthotics, taping, foot and ankle adjustments, and exercises to strengthen your tibialis anterior muscle. Our assessment and treatment ensure that you'll never have to think or deal with shin splints again. Cold laser therapy can be done in our office in Manhattan, or we have rental lasers for pickup only. Now, before I share my favorite exercises to strengthen your tibialis anterior muscle and fix your shin splints and shin pain for good, please click that like button, give me a thumbs up, even if you don't like me and you like the content. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions or comments. And don't forget to subscribe, otherwise you're gonna miss our four weekly videos discussing some of the most common health conditions. I hope you enjoyed this video and hang tight. We've got my favorite exercises for shin splints right now. With your legs straight and the loop of an exercise band around your foot, attach a band firmly in front of you with the slack taken off. Bend your ankle against the resistance. Return to the starting position. Ankle nearly straight in a controlled manner resisting the pull from the band. Lean your back against a wall, with your knees slightly bent and feet somewhat away from the wall. 
Lift your toes and bend your ankles. Lower the toes back on the floor returning to the starting position in a controlled manner. Sit on a chair or on the floor. Put one foot on top of the other foot. Try to lift the foot that is under while preventing any movement with the foot that is on top.